One of the amazing things you've done for the world is to some degree open sourcing the tooling that you use to make your videos with Manum, uh, this Python library. Now it's quickly evolving because I think you're inventing new things every time you make a video. In fact, I wanted, um, I've been working on playing around with something. I wanted to do like an ode to three blue one brown. Like I love playing Hendrix. Hmm. I wanted to do like a cover, you know, hmm. of, of a concept I wanted to visualize and, and, and use Manum. And I saw that you had like a little piece of code on like Mobius strip. And I, I tried to do some cool things with spinning a Mobius strip, like continue um, twisting it, I guess is the term. Uh, and it was, it, it was easier to, uh, it was tough. So I haven't figured it out yet. Well, so I guess the question I want to ask is so many people love it, uh, that you've put that out there. They want to, uh, do the same thing as I do with Hendrix. They want to cover it. They want to explain an idea using the tool, including Russ. How would you recommend they try to, I'm very sorry. No, they try to good. go, they try to go by, uh, about it. Well, so I, and what kind of choices should they choose to be most effective? That I can answer. So I always feel guilty if this comes up because um, I think of it like this scrappy tool that's like a math teacher who put together some code. People asked what it was, so they made it open source and they kept scrapping it together. And there's a lot, like a lot of things about it that make it harder to work with than it needs to be that are a function of like me not being a software engineer. Um, I, I've, I've put some work this year trying to like make it better and more flexible. Um, that is still just kind of like a work in process. Um, one thing I would love to do is just get my act together about properly integrating with what like the community wants to work with and like what stuff I work on and making that um, not like deviate. Uh, and just like actually fostering that community in a way that I've, I've been like shamefully neglectful of. So I'm just always guilty if it comes up. So let's put that guilt aside, just okay, kind of zen like. All right, zen like, I'll, I'll pretend like it isn't terrible. For someone like Russ, um, I think step one is like, make sure that what you're animating should be done so programmatically. Because a lot of things maybe shouldn't. Um, like if you're just making a quick graph of something, uh, if it's a graphical intuition that maybe has a little motion to it, use Desmos, use Grapher, use GeoGebra, use Mathematica, certain things that are like really oriented around graphs. GeoGebra is kind of cool. I've it's been it's super it. It's cool. amazing. You can get very, very far with it. Um, and in a lot of ways, like it would make more sense for some stuff that I do to just do in GeoGebra, but I kind of have this cycle of liking to try to improve Manum by doing videos and such. So uh, do as I say, not as I do. The, the original like thought I had in making Manum was that there's so many different ways of representing functions other than graphs. Um, in particular, things like transformations, like use movement over time to communicate relationships between inputs and outputs instead of like X direction and Y direction, um, or like vector fields or things like that. So I wanted something that was flexible enough that you didn't feel constrained into a graphical environment. Um, by graphical, I mean like graphs with uh, like X coordinate, Y coordinate kind of stuff. But also make sure that um, you're taking advantage of the fact that it's programmatic. You have loops, you have conditionals, you have abstraction. If any of those are like well fit for what you want to teach to you know, have a scene type that you tweak a little bit based on parameters or to have conditionals so that things can go one way or another or loops so that you can create these things of like arbitrarily increasing complexity. That's the stuff that's like meant to be animated programmatically. If it's just like writing some text on the screen or shifting around objects or something like that, um, <laughs> things like that, you should probably just use Keynote, right? Um, you could be a lot simpler. So uh, try to find a workflow that distills down that which should be programmatic into Manum and that which doesn't need to be into like other domains. Again, do as I say, not as I do. 